could you go without alcohol for a month? What about an entire year? It's easy for some, but quite daunting for most. Our natural health guest today wants us to put our drinking habits under the microscope. Claire Robbie is with us in the Harvey Norman Lounge today. Good morning, Claire. Good morning. Now, first up, uh, why do you want New Zealanders to look and think about how much they're drinking? Um, it sort of comes back to the word habit. Um, so it, it, this all started with me a few years ago, maybe about six or seven years ago. I went through a really um, a difficult time and I decided to give up drinking and it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And during that time I became a yoga teacher and I became a meditation teacher and I started becoming more interested in things we do unconsciously. Mm -hmm. So, um, and drinking is one of those things that a lot of us, in fact the majority of, of people, New Zealanders particularly, um, Drinking is just this habit that we do without thinking. So this whole um, initiative that I've started called No Beers Who Cares is just getting people to take drinking out of the equation and see what happens. And you're talking about a year without drinking. Have you done that before? I've done a couple of years. Um, so I gave up drinking for two years during the time that I went through that emotional upheaval. Before that, I was a really heavy drinker. I used to live in LA and I worked in hotels and I work with a lot of celebrities and my job is from 8 in the morning till 4 in the morning a lot of the time and drinking became a huge part of that running events and doing all sorts of things and I used to work in television as well and that culture was very mm -hmm. much um, work hard and play hard and so when I gave up for the two years um, there were just so many internal shifts that happened within my life that it was absolutely fascinating um, and I just became so aware of how much I depended on it and ridiculous amount of situations and so taking that out um, I just got this clarity and I got this um, a, a, this sort of amazing energy from being far more present in my life um, and that's what I'm trying to encourage other people to do. So No Beers Who Cares initiative, what is it designed to do? So you just basically we, I started thinking let's try and get everyone to sign up for the year, which proved to be a lot more difficult than um, I anticipated. Mm -hmm. So I added a three month sort of version in there. Okay. So you can sign up for three months. Um, and when you sign up, you become part of this amazing online community, which has just been incredible what's happened in the online community. So people talking about um, before they have to go to weddings or something like that, sort of getting pep talks from the community tips on how to deal with you know when you're offered that first champagne and it's just that habitual okay I'm gonna have it um, and the feedback I've been getting from lots of the people in the group is they're going to all these events and um, you know concerts and all these parties and things where they used to have a few drinks and think that they're gonna have the time of their lives because they were having these few drinks they're having better times like the actual connection you have with someone without alcohol mm -hmm. Is so much deeper and real. So what about people that think that they have a healthy relationship with alcohol, mm -hmm. maybe just one or two a week? I mean, yeah. w would they benefit from doing this as well, do you think? I think any time you look at something that's a habit um, and just play, it's just sort of an experiment in a way. You play with taking it away and see what happens when you take it away. Have you seen similar initiatives to this overseas? There are lots and lots of initiatives overseas at the moment. Um, the mindful drinking movement is really growing. Um, there's a movement in LA called The Shine and they do lots of incredible events um, and have concerts and all sorts of things that are just, you know, they, there's no alcohol available at these events. Um, there's Club Soda, there's an, a, a movement in the UK called One Year No Beer. Um, and then a lot of younger people, so people in their 20s, are choosing not to drink more and more, which is really interesting to see. And this is a great thing too because we do have in this country the culture of drinking as teenagers yeah. or, or being ridiculous. I mean, what response have you had so far from the initiative? I've had really positive responses predominantly. A lot of people have found, who have been involved in this, have found the reactions from a lot of their friends and family really interesting. Um, especially if you have a partner or a close friend who likes to drink and you stop, it can bring up a lot of stuff for them. And that's fundamentally what um, we teach people to hold on to, is the fact that you've chosen to do this thing for whatever reason, and whatever other people say about it is really a reflection of what's going on for them more than what's going on for you. Mm. Um, so the response has been predominantly 
um, positive. And I can so mention far. too there'd be lots of other benefits you can think of, not just uh, the, the mental health mm. ones, but also the fact that your skin's going to be better yeah. and you're going to save a bit of money and you'll probably save lose a bit of weight lot of as well. Yep. well that's, Really interesting, Claire. It'll be interesting to see how the year goes. You can sign up at any month for the whole year, can you? Mm -hmm, you sure can. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Great. You've got something you wanted to add? Uh, we have these amazing events each month. So we have these mixes where people can come along. Um, we have a speaker. We have um, all sorts of things happening within them. And people can practice socialising without a glass of wine in their hand with a kombucha or a water. Excellent. Claire, thank you so much for that.